Good morning, Facebook. Now, it seems to be that well, my screen's a little bit dark, so I'm not too sure if it is bad lighting or not. Hopefully, you guys can see me. So, first and foremost, apologies for being a little bit late on today. <clears throat> I was just catching up with a friend down here at the beach, so uh, it's good. Haven't caught up with her for a while, so uh, it was just, yeah, nice to catch up and yeah, everything like that. So, Hence, it is now a little bit for 8 o'clock, and I'm on my way home. Oh, today's topic, our thoughts can make us sick. Oh, what an interesting topic. Where's that coming from? Well, where it's spurred on from is a book, uh, <laughs> Morning Charlie, um, is a book that is titled The Big Leap by uh, Gay Hendricks. So some of you may or may not be aware of that particular book. Um, if you aren't, I would highly recommend having a look at it, um, either by Audible or actually getting the book. Um, the reason being is, it's, as I said, it's, it's what spurred on my thoughts for today. Um, now, I was in two minds about doing a live today. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And morning, Paul. Morning, Raphael. Um, the reason being is I'm not feeling the greatest today, or rather my body's not feeling the greatest. And I sort of prephrase that or rephrase that because if I say that I'm not, well then I'm taking ownership that I'm not quite as healthy as what I could be, that sort of thing. But if I'm actually looking at more as my body's not, I can observe that there's just something going on and not actually lock it and contain it within me. Anyway, not the point. The point is that our thoughts can make us sick. And what I mean is that if there is something that is, uh, where are you going with this one? If there's something that you're not wanting to do or you've got something coming up, a commitment or anything like that, then we can on a subconscious level create a sickness within ourselves to justify and reason why we can't do it. Now, in the book, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks, he talks about self-sabotage. And it's essentially what I'm just saying there. So when things get, well, he talks about an upper limit. So the upper limit of happiness. When things become too happy or too good, we have a tendency to sabotage them. And I know for myself, there is uh, many occasions that I've done that and what I recognize right now in the moment as I said not f the body's not feeling the greatest at some level that's me sabotaging myself what I'm sabotaging myself for is the fact that I am getting so uh, so much traction motivation and everything like that with my business and these Facebook lives particularly that if I'm sick, it's like, you know what? I'm just not feeling it today. Hey, Maria. Hola. <laughs> um, then it gives me justification and reason to not actually jump on and keep taking the action. And therefore, it will keep me in the reality that I used to be in. And that is unhappy and broke and unfulfilled and whatever it is. So... That is the reason why I'm committing to doing this Facebook Live today, and that is the reason why I'm doing this topic today, because if we can start to understand that when, when things are going good, that we have an unconscious um, reaction at times when our reality is challenged to a new level that we're not used to or not comfortable with. And in doing that, that's sometimes what will keep us broke, unhappy, unfulfilled, and ultimately stuck in the exact same reality that we've been in for so long. So first and foremost, and I've spoken about this on other ones, is becoming consciously aware of what's going on for yourself. When you can become consciously aware that in these situations, this is how you're responding, you can choose to take a different action. Like I did this morning with, you know what? I'm gonna get on this Facebook Live, I'm gonna push through it, and I'm going to keep going with the momentum because I'm going to focus on my end goal and that's my freedom business 
and that is what's driving me forward. Whew. A little bit passionate about this one right now. Why? Because I'm recognizing this for myself and as I'm talking to you guys, I'm breaking through a barrier for my own self as well. So, quick recap, as I was saying, so the book, The Giant, The Big Leap, sorry, by Gay Hendricks. Highly, highly recommend listening to that one. Sarah, good morning. Good to see you, Paul. I was up at uh, I was up at five o'clock this morning as well. But as I said, I've just been catching up with a, a friend down here at the beach, which I haven't seen for a while. So, hence I'm running a little bit late. Actually, you're three hours behind anyway. So, whoop, there's a bus. Better keep moving. Um, <laughs> all good, Paul. Morning, Sarah. Um, yeah, so the, the book talks about the upper limit problem and how when things get so good um, that we have a tendency to sabotage. And that could be business, it could be relationships, it could be anything, anything. When our reality, the way that we've known it to be for so long, is challenged. So it's, it's yeah, absolutely key if you want to get out of the situation that you're currently in to become aware in situations when you do this. And, you know, and that's where creating that sickness or creating, I apologize guys, I'm just about to go past somewhere that as you can hear is obviously doing some gardening and cleaning. So give me a second, I'll pick back up in a moment. The example that they use, morning Stephanie, um, the example that Gay, Gay uses in the, in the book is a university professor who has been um, looking for another job. He's been in this particular university for a number of years. He is, um, has recently just found a new job, but he has, and he knows that he's leaving. He knows he's leaving this, this university, but he has committed to doing a presentation. But the presentation now is a conflict of interest because his heart's not in the information that he's that he's going to present on because it's what he's been talking about and educating and um, like studying for the last couple of years so he knows that he's leaving now what he actually creates for himself is laryngitis so that conveniently he's not able to actually do this presentation and he has that justification and reason as to oh I'm sick I can't talk I can't do this anymore and when, when Gay was talking about, because he's also a, um, like a coach and everything like that, when he actually had that realization or guided this guy to this realization, he got it and, Fran and ironically, his voice actually came back. But yet, because he'd already made the commitment to leaving the job and, and not doing the presentation and everything like that, he still didn't. But... The point of the story is, is that in varying situations, we will create this. And then we have, it has like a spiraling effect. When you can start to see that you're sick, it's like, oh, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. And you start to create more sickness. You start to create more justification and reason as to why you can't do that thing that you're wanting to do. And it becomes a spiraling effect. And of course, the end result is, is you don't take action. You don't do what it is that you're wanting to do. So... Because, you know, society's got that justification that you're ill, you're sick, you're whatever it is. So the key is, is to start noticing it, start to rephrase it as, like I said, if I was to say that I'm sick at the moment, it would be me taking ownership that I own this sickness. But by saying that my body is not feeling great right now, I'm able to actually step out of the ownership of it and be like you know what there's just something going on I'm going to allow it to do what it needs to do I'm going to allow my body to be able to react in the way that it needs to react and it's going to move through and I'm not going to allow it to stick to me and create something far greater of an issue than it is already so watch the language in, that, in all of it as well start to notice when you're you're sabotaging with your you know relationships you start to you know 
somebody might be doing the, the same thing all the time. Um, you know, your partner might be always, I don't know, making the same sort of little quirky jokes or something like that. You guys are all of a sudden just come back from a fantastic weekend. The energy is absolutely like radiant and you know, everything is going well, but then all of a sudden this same thing that they've been saying for the last however long starts to become that one thing that you're like, ah, oh, why do they keep saying that? Like, it's just annoying. And then all of a sudden that's what's gonna create the arguments in the relationship to bring it back down from that happy place that it is back to, to, down to that level that is more within the, the reality in which you know, and I guess the comfort zone, you know, as opposed to being able to see in that situation and go, you know what, this is what is actually creating a, a frustration for me right now. Um, I recognize that things are going really, really well. And what am I actually making this mean? Like, what am I creating out of this? And am I utilizing this as a targeting thing that I'm trying to, you know, ruin the happiness that we've got going at the moment? Because when you can start to see that, you'd be able to convey that. And you know what? that new happiness level and boundary will start to rise and you'll start to create a new reality around it. Just like keeping up with these Facebook lives, I'm creating a new reality that I know myself to be and to be able to operate and to be able to go after my dreams and my passion and my business to become a success. Oh. Yeah. I think that pretty much sums it all up. <laughs> Uh, guys, I'm going to finish it up there, but if you did get any value out of my, my message this morning, um, anything like that, please show it some love, like it, comment it, share it, and most of all, just sit with that thought today and just allow it to, I don't know, filter through your life and just become more present and more aware and ask yourself, am I making this sickness right now because there's some assignment that I've got coming up, there's, there's some presentation, there's some, you know, something that I really don't want to be doing. Most welcome, Demando. I hope I did say that correct. Um, because at the end of the day, guys, our thoughts are really powerful and they can honestly create sickness. And I'm, I truly believe they can create sickness on all levels now whether you want that or not um, whether it's conscious or unconscious i truly do believe that and if you can start inquiring into that sickness and that um whatever's going on so that you can see it from a different perspective stop being impacted by it more become an observer of it um, then you can truly become free to be able to take the actions that you really want and keep going after the things that matter the most to you. So yeah, so as I said guys, like it, share it, comment, send it some love, and I do appreciate everybody coming on the, the live today and everybody who's gonna be watching the recording. Truly do appreciate it guys. Have a fantastic Tuesday if you're in Australia or around this area, or Monday evening if you're um, in the US. So take care guys, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. See ya.